Hi. Hello. Right now in the central uh, public transport dispatch center, Almaty City is very focused on making it a lot uh, smarter. So one of the uh, big areas is the transportation area. All night. That means. All night means uh, easy. This is real-time public transportation. So, you have uh, buses, trolleys, you have a uh, metro. And so it's uh, 3,000 transactions that happened. It's early morning and uh, it's a holiday. Uh -huh. It's uh, much lower, 72% lower than yesterday. You can see uh, the status of uh, each uh, bus. So who's the driver, whether he's uh, oh. uh, or she is uh, going on route. So all of the metro stations have a uh, live stream. How many cameras do we have all together? Uh, 52,000 video cameras connected to a unified video monitoring system. On the road to smart transport and digital governance, Kazakhstan's largest city, Almaty, has turned over 4,000 kilometers east to China's high-tech powerhouse of Shenzhen for partnership and inspiration. Uh, if you, uh, for example, have a fire coming out, uh, it also can... The camera can uh, tell. Can tell yeah. If you uh, have a, a big amount of people in one place, uh, it also can uh, put an alarm. We can work with Shenzhen on uh, developing uh, smarter video analytics. One question people would ask for sure is privacy. How do you make sure people's privacy and rights are handled properly? The access to the video cameras is very limited. And also, each login to the system is uh, very well monitored. Video cameras and video mm. analytics are something that can keep the citizens safe. They can uh, be used to not only for safety, but some things that can improve uh, the citizens' lives in general. For example, you put a camera right next to the trash bins, right? And once the trash bin is full, the departments who are responsible for removing the trash, uh, they get notified. One of the main goals of uh, any smart projects is making the lives of our citizens a bit easier, a bit better. We have a mobile application which uh, has all of the services in one place. So now we see where we are. We can see uh, when the bus will arrive. You can actually pay right now. When did you start working for the government? Uh, three years ago. And why? Because uh, my education was paid for by the government. Where I did you go and study? Uh, I studied at Purdue University, mm -hmm. uh, which is in uh, Indiana, uh, for yes. engineering, industrial ah. engineering. To one of my colleagues, he went to uh, Tsinghua University. It's uh, very nice to uh, be able to repay to the government in some way. Shenzhen is a unique partner because uh, in a very, very short time they were able to transform their whole digital projects and uh, become one of the smartest cities in the world. The uh, Shenzhen uh, experience of uh, creating a digital twin I think will uh, take Almaty to even a bigger, smarter city in the future. You make a decision to create a project not only based on your thoughts, but uh, on a big data that's being collected and analyzed by the digital twin with the help of artificial intelligence. Our pilot will most likely be done in this area. It's uh, Panfilov Street. We chose it because it, there's a concentration of both uh, residential areas and uh, also businesses so that we can see how the digital twin uh, might uh, be used in many areas. For example, if you put one building here, yeah. how much electricity is needed, how much water is needed, heating, and how will it affect the residents. So the digital twin will help us model uh, construction and urban development in general. Any big project in Shenzhen is, is going first through this digital twin, yes. and then uh, they make a decision. Hopefully, uh, Shenzhen Smart City Group will help us uh, develop this. Uh, so if this pilot project is a success, mm -hmm. that will be the next step. Yes, definitely. 
so we'll I guess I would have to say goodbye here. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank thank you, you very much. for explaining everything and having such a long walk. No, no, no. Thank it's you. a pleasure. We'll be in touch.